about the Olbert paradox, there are many articles written, but all are false. All conclusions about Olbert, Olbert paradox are false. The basic understanding is, or let's say, the basic fact should be included when we talk about Olbert paradox. And this is that NASA measured back in 2014 that universal space has Euclidean shape. It's infinite. So, the Olbert, he asked a very good question. Why at night the universe is dark? Because, let's say here is Earth, and then we have a stars, we have a many, many, many stars and light. Light is coming from the stars. Here is the earth. Light is coming from the stars all over. And as there are millions of millions of stars, theoretically, it should be never dark. So why the light of the stars is not strong enough to make a night day? Because, because there is something very important to understand. That universe is infinite. And now, We have a observable universe. Observ observable universe is a part of the universe that we can see through the telescopes. And then we have a, this is observable universe. And then we have universe that is not observable and never be observable because it's too far. And here somehow, is a, is a line between finite observable universe and infinite universe that is, that is existing. So, the light that is in the infinite part of the universe, the stars that are in the infinite part of the universe, will never reach Earth because they are infinite on the infinite distance. Okay? That's why we have a night. So, the, the exact solution of the, uh, of the Olbers paradox is that there is no light enough from the star to make a night a day from the finite part of the universe, okay? And the light that is in the infinite universe will never reach us. This is very important and uh, this is one of the basic, if we want to establish evidence-based cosmology. Thank you very much.